Welcome to this YSL tutorial in Report Builder 2016. In this part of the series, we'll look at how to apply OR filters to both tables and data sets in a report. We'll start by adding multiple filters in the Query Editor tool in the usual way, and then explain how to edit the SQL of a query to change those filters from being combined with an AND operator to using an OR operator instead. Once we've done that, we'll look at how you can apply multiple filters to a table, and then how you can replace those filters by writing a Boolean expression which tests the multiple criteria using an OR operator. Finally, we'll show you how you can test the result of that Boolean expression so that your table shows the results you want. So let's get started. To get started, I've created a blank report in Report Builder, and I need to create a new data source which connects to the YSL Movies database. The usual quick reminder that if you haven't already got a copy of the YSL Movies database, we do have a video which explains how to install it, and you can download a script using the link in the video description to help you with that. Assuming you've got to that point already, let's right click the data sources folder and choose to add a data source. Again, if you created a shared data source in a previous video in the series, feel free to use that one. Alternatively, give your new data source a sensible name, choose to use a connection embedded in the report, click the build button to build a new connection string. We can type in the name of the server here, mine's SQL 2016 training, yours may be different. And then we can select the movies database from the drop down list before we click OK a couple of times to create the data source. The aim of this example is to create a table which displays a list of blockbuster movies. And I'm going to consider a film a blockbuster if it has either won five or more Oscars, or it's made at least a billion dollars at the box office. To get started with that, let's create a data set which returns that set of films. So I'm going to right click on my movies data source and choose to add a data set. I'll call the data set blockbusters and then I'll use the query designer to start building this query. From the tables list, I can then choose the film table and then choose a few fields from that table. Let's go for the title and the release date. And let's also go for the box office dollars and the Oscar wins. Now I can begin adding filters to the query to limit the list of results I return. Let's click the add filter button and we'll add a filter first to show only those films whose box office dollars is at least a billion. So from the drop down list for field name, we can choose box office dollars. We can change the operator to is more than or equal to. And then for the value, we can type in one billion. So that's a one followed by nine zeros. Count them out there as I'm typing them in. Okay. So having done that, we can then add a, another filter to show only those films whose Oscar wins is five or more. So I can click the add filter button again, change the field name to Oscar wins, change the operator to is more than or equal to, and then click into the value box. And this time just type in the number five. The small problem with adding filters in the query designer is that each filter you add is joined to the previous one using the AND operator. So what we're actually saying in this query designer at the moment is that we want to show only those films whose box office dollars is a billion or more and those that have won five or more Oscars. And that's going to be quite a short list. If we click OK a couple of times and then let's right click to remove the existing title text box by right clicking and deleting it, then insert a new table into the report and just show the various fields that we've selected. So we've got the title, release date, box office, and finally the Oscar wind, which I can click and drag from the report data window. If I just change the width of the title column a little bit so we can see everything a little more clearly, and also the release date. If I run the report, you'll see that the, uh, the list we end up with is fairly exclusive and short. Only two films in the database have both exceeded a billion dollars at the box office and exceeded five Oscar wins. What we'd like to do is modify the filters so that they're joined together using an OR operator rather than an AND operator. Let's head back to the design view and then right click on our Blockbusters dataset and choose to view the dataset properties. If you know how to edit SQL, this is a fairly simple thing to do. You can find the WHERE clause of your query in the query text box, and then find where the word AND is between your two individual filters. 
if you backspace or delete the word and, and replace that with the word or instead. When you click OK and then run the report again, you'll find this time we're seeing a much longer list. We're seeing a list of all of the films that have either won five Oscars or more, or have a box office value of a billion or more. Changing the way filters work in the query of a dataset is pretty straightforward then, as long as you're happy editing a tiny bit of SQL. But you won't always get the opportunity to do things that way, particularly if your dataset is populated with a stored procedure. You can't use the query designer to edit the SQL query. What we can do instead then is apply filters to a table item in a report and then modify the way the filters work in the table to use OR criteria rather than AND criteria. Let's start by creating a new dataset that returns all of the films from the film table. We can right click the movie's data source and choose Add Dataset. I'll call this one All Films. Then I'll use the query designer to build a simple query selecting the same fields from the film table. So let's select the title field and the release date, box office dollars and Oscar wins. We won't add any filters. We'll assume that we can't do that. For instance, again, as I say, if you were using a stored procedure to populate your data set, you wouldn't be allowed to apply filters to it here. Let's click OK and then just to uh, quickly get a table that shows all of the results, I'm going to copy the existing table that I have by pressing Ctrl and C after selecting it and then press Ctrl and V to paste it. I'll drag this second table across to the right, leaving a bit of a gap so I can see a separation between the two tables. And then what I'd like to do is just alter the data set associated with that table. I can do this in the Tablix or Tablix Properties dialog box, or even more simply, when I have the table selected in the Properties window at the right hand side of the screen. If you can't see that, head to the View menu and tick the Properties box. You should be able to see then there's a data set name property, and all I'm going to do there is change the data set to All Films. Now this only works because the column names are the exact same in both data sets. But if I run this report now, you should see that this report contains every single film, so it's a different list to the one on the left. Now let's add some filters to this table to replicate what we did in the first instance with the query. Back in the design view, we can select the table again, and then using the properties window, look for the filters section. If we click on the filters property, we get the little ellipsis, the dot 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 button. When we click on that, it launches the Tablix or Tablix Properties dialog box, launched directly into the filters page. We can click the add button and let's start by adding a filter to the box office dollars, checking where the box office dollars value is greater than or equal to 1 billion. So counting out those nine zeros again. I can then add another filter and I can choose this time to apply it to the Oscar wins field. And I'll choose greater than or equal to and then type in the number five. Again, just like with the filters that we originally added in the query designer, these filters are joined together using a logical AND operator. So when I click OK and then run the report again, I'll see that my second table now contains just those two films, the ones which have five or more Oscars and which exceeded a billion dollars at the box office. Now, unfortunately, modifying table filters to use an OR operator is a little trickier than doing the same in the SQL of a query. But let's head back to the design view and see what we can do about this. If we select the second table and go back to the filters dialog box, let's just remove the existing filters that we've added to this table so I can select each one in turn and choose to delete them. Now we can add a new filter and this time I'm not going to select any of the existing fields from the data set. What I'm going to do instead is build an expression that evaluates the two criteria that I'm interested in. So to do that, I can click the FX button to launch the expression builder tool. We're going to cover this in a lot more detail in a later part of the series. For now, all I'm going to do is build up a couple of simple logical tests. To begin with, I'll need to select the field from my all films. Oh, I've just spotted my little typo there. It's called all films, not all films. Um, never mind, I'll, I'll proceed with this from now on then. We'll call it all films rather than all films. Um, what I need to do anyway, regardless of what the data set is called, is select the first field that I'm interested in. 
The easiest way to do that is to select the fields list and then double click on the field you want to insert. So I can double click box office dollars. This just means that I don't have to worry about typing out the reference to the box office dollars field in the correct syntax. It's done for me automatically. What I can then do is type in the greater than or equal to operators. And then I can enter the 1 billion that I entered earlier on. So there's my nine zeros again. What I can then do is type in a space followed by the word or, just like we did in the underlying SQL query. If I then type in another space, I can double click on the next field, Oscar wins, and then ask where that is greater than or equal to the number five. I can carry on adding as many individual criteria as I like using this, putting an or keyword in between each criterion that I enter. When I finish, what I'm then going to do is click OK. The next thing we need to do is change the data type that's returned by the expression we've written. When we write a logical test, the result of the logical test will be either true or false. And the name for the data type which contains true or false is called Boolean. So we can select Boolean from the drop down list. If either of our criteria return true, then the whole expression returns true. And if that's the case, I want to display a result in the table. So for the value that I'm testing for, I'm checking where the result of this expression is equal to true. So I can just write the word true into the value box. At that point, if I click OK and then run the report again, I should see this time the second table matches the list of results in the first. So we're using or evaluating the same criteria, just written in two separate places in the report. Just before we finish, it's worthwhile mentioning that when you add a filter to a single table, of course that filter only affects that table. It would have been possible to apply our filters directly to the AL Films dataset if I right click on the dataset and choose to view its properties. Although, again, imagining we were using a stored procedure to populate this dataset, we couldn't change the query to add a WHERE clause and use the OR operator there. However, we can apply filters to the dataset in the same way we've just applied filters to the table. So if you wanted every object in the report to be filtered in the same way, apply your filters to the dataset on this page rather than having to repeat that for each individual table or chart, etc. that you add to the report itself. OK, so there's a couple of techniques you can use to apply criteria using the OR operator in Report Builder. Hope you found that one useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.